It was two years back when the club executive at Vipers SC decided to reinforce its technical staff with the recruitment of head coach Roberto Oliveira from Brazil and his assistant Marcelo Codoso from Portugal. New Vipers has got good coaches. Another club has also got good coaches, maybe local. Then I hope it will be a lot that these players will gain out of that. And at the end of the day, who is going to benefit? It will be the national team, Uganda. They didn't even get that free of the Brazilian football. We are just talking about it. We are just watching it on the television. I was watching the Brazilian team, the under 23. I think took the trophy. Yeah. Olympics in the in Tokyo. And they could see the style now. We have brought it closer here. <laughs> we not just here. Yeah, we have just been seeing it on the screen. Now it is here. You can just touch and feel the Brazilian. <laughs> Dr. Lawrence Molindo, the club president, made it clear during the press conference that Africa was the dream for the club. Now those individual players, let us bring it to the team so that we also have the best team. And if we have the best team, then it will be very easy for us to defend the Premier League. It will be very easy for us to advance in the club Champions League. Isn't it? It seemed a very uphill task for the new technical team, but with the teamwork and dedication from the backroom staff, the journey started with winning the Uganda Cup with the famous 8-0 victory on the finals. Next was the Premier League that had ups and downs that the focus was to win if the African dream was to be realized. The dancer in the park, Tony Maweji. Ladies and gentlemen, will you put your hands together for this man? As a chance comes up here! Milton Carissa! How do you put that on the sixth minute? Who wrote this script? Milton Carissa decides to rob the Mitchell General of his presence and put his own headline in this one. Vipers won. Police of Zinil. Yeah, Vipers SC was crowned champions to the 2021-2022 champions, which is the automatic ticket for the Cup Champions League. With celebrations aside, the club management was on the move to prepare the team for Champions League qualifiers through organizing friendly matches. The boys are in the perfect shape for tomorrow's game. We're just waiting for for the kickoff, that's 2 p.m. tomorrow, to have a fine game, to have a spa game, to have a recovery game from our past loss. And I think this is the right time and uh, chance to get back on straight. The famous win was against young Africans on Wainanchi Day in the Raslam, which was one of those friendlies that was meant to give the players a feel of what would be expected of them in the Champions League. Leo, Yanga Kicheza, Naviper Sports Club, Wote ni mabingwa. Mimi ni baraka mpenja katika matangazo ya lua aadhimu ya Kiswahili na nishambulizi la mapema kabisa na kwenda alikulo Vipers 1. Dakika ya kwanza tu mchezo Vipers wanapata bao la kuongoza. Likifungwa na Milton Karisa. Next stop was in Chigali with another spectacular performance against Train Sport. Minotita to you, Muchino. Atatio Bobo! Sindar Wanga! Bobo Sindar Wanga! With the team now motivated and aware of the challenge ahead, next was the first preliminary round against Olympic Red Bangui at home and away. In Congo, Brazzaville, the Venoms made sure the game biggest task is done away from home with 3 0 scoreline by Issa Mobiru, Najib Iga, and Abdulu Mala. The return leg at St. Mary Stadium was almost a game to show character and zeal as Uno Sentamo finished the first round qualifiers with a spectacular finish. <laughs>
Martin Lyon, who was the five-time African champion, Stipe Mazembe of Congo. This was not news to management that was focused with early preparations. The Venoms were held 0-0 in the first leg in Chitende. Without scoring a goal, the hope seemed to be lost, but to the coaches and players, this was an advantage to play goalless away from home in the return leg. The team arrived early in Lumumbashi to prepare for the game of life. I'm, I, I'm happy about the, about the our travel, uh, good accommodation, my players are happy and uh, it's very important, you know. And uh, now I think we have a good motivation for play Champions League and uh, we need to continue the same objective, serious, uh, hard work every day. And uh, I repeat the same, let's see, it's my objective. Club president Lawrence Mulindua was always there to keep an eye to all proceedings in the camp. Again, it was a goalless draw in Lumumbashi as the Venoms went closer to the dreamland. Guess what? 4 2 win for Vipers in penalties was an unbelievable result to the All of Africa as the five team champions, Tipi Mazembe, were eliminated. And now, the Venoms awaits for the draw of the CAF Champions League group stages that will happen tomorrow in Cairo. For the club management, players and fans, Africa is the dream. We are doing to my players! Yeah! Doctor! Okay! Thank you so